So this is another camera test I am doing with my um, new iPad. So uh, yeah, welcome to the next uh, video of my new rough and tough quick series without any or with not much editing. Um, yeah, please let me know in the comment section if you like this kind of uh, short quick videos on my thoughts on different topics. Uh, and um, yeah, give me a comment, uh, uh, not, not a command, a, a comment if you want to have more of these videos or not. So uh, yeah, cheers folks. So welcome to another uh, rough and quick video for your patron. Um, so I just wanted to show my two dirks uh, I have here over my cup of coffee. So this is my sharp dirk, which I have. It is the um, windless Scottish so-called primitive dirk, uh, which is quite affordable and not bad, especially like the blade and the, the, the shop. Normally um, windless sells its swords and daggers uh, pointy but not sharp so with with kind of a thin edge but not really sharp so but i uh, found it in a shop where you could have sharpening so so it really made it very very sharp um and the handle is not the original handle anymore i got from a uh, reenactment buddy uh, his old reenactment dirk where you can see he already himself he did kind of you know shortening the 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 grip and and gluing the the, the yeah the back of the grip kind of a pommel um, back again and I took this um, grip of the reenactment dirk and reassembled it with the windless um, with the windless blade and also I used the windless pommel here so I had to shorten the tank because what what really problem is with dirks you buy uh, from windless Hanwai cold steel and such they always make the grip way too long okay so the grip originally was like so where my index finger is here so way too long uh, this is not um, historically correct, and, and it's also for the techniques we want to do with Dirk, especially talked in the last video, especially in this kind of dagger grip, okay, or with the index finger. This is, uh, you know, then the, the grip is just too big, so this is incorrect. Uh, and the reason is especially like the sheath. The sheaths, they always do it that you put it in like a knife or a sword and carry it on your left hip if you are right-handed, and then they, because they think you draw it like a sword and hold it uh, like this. But we want to have it on our right hip when we are right-handed and want to draw it in this kind of dagger grip. And here, again, the windless primitive Scottish dirk is not bad because the blade, it fits in both directions. So this was the reason why I took it. What I also did was I shortened the loop here because this was like a long loop hanging down on the hip and I wanted to have it more tight on my hip. So yeah, I did a little bit of bad craftsmanship to reassemble this new grip and this uh, metal cap here which just doesn't fit perfectly but it's okay for my purposes it's uh, it's still holding good together and it's a good fighting knife and as soon as i get my sharp armor class um, dirt which i ordered last summer and it's already finished because of course you have to wait for good products you have to wait some months but um, yeah it was it was from scotland shipped to germany within two days uh, but now it's stuck in German custom service for like nearly three weeks because, yeah, you know, all the Brexit stuff uh, now makes trouble when you order something from, from UK, um, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm still like this one, and, but as soon as the armor class comes, um, because I w was able to test this out on a reenactment event, having the, the, the um, armor class Dirk in my hand, and then I decided I wanted to have this. And then I maybe will or probably will use this for some throwing exercises, okay, big throwing exercises. And after that, and if it survives, I will, um, yeah, cut off the point and, you know, blunten the edge. So I will have, you can use this as, uh, as a training dirk. The other dirk I have, speaking of throwing, is this United Cutlery M41 Tactical Monster. It's really a monster. It has really a big bag edge, so I think this would be also not a bad uh, bushcrafting knife maybe um, but i bought it for uh yeah for throwing practice because obviously i didn't want to destroy my my real or my beautiful dirk with cutting practice uh, because at the beginning you have a lot of miss throws uh, obviously so um, i wanted to have something sturdy and this is of course not perfectly a real dirk but it's it's highland dirk inspired so the dimensions are correct ish uh, and uh, surprisingly, this is really a good um, knife to throw 
it's almost like a small hatchet because it's 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 heavy you have it very well in your hand and you can really uh, easy release um, uh, to throw uh, this um, for a full spin uh, but even with a half spin this works quite nice okay this is this is a, this is not a bad knife it's just like throwing a bowie knife maybe and so yeah this is this is kind of a, a good practice knife for throwing